All right, this one's gonna be on Max ESOs. It's a way to convert your PSP or your PS2 games um, from ISOs to CSOs. CSO stands for uh, compressed ISOs, or in short, they call it uh, CISOs also. Anyways, uh, it's a way to save space while still playing your games, you know, on your emulators or, um, you know, whatever software that supports it. So, uh, that's what we're going to do, right? Real simple. This one is just called Max, Max uh, CSOs. And you just input in the name. So let's say, for example, this um, uh, NHL thing here, right? And it will convert it. And we'll say space uh, at the end. Now, this one, it depends on your CPU, like how many cores you have and all that. Uh, the more you have, the faster it will go. But uh, it actually took me two days, maybe three, uh, to convert all my PSP collection. So PSP games and also PSP mini games, um, which was about around 600 gigs. And at the end, I saved it, uh, I believe, 300. Yeah, 300 gigs. So like half, you know. Now this one, let's see how much we got here. So you can see that the original is... Let's do a calculation here. 6 minus 91.5. So we saved it uh, 54.5 megabytes. All right. Now it depends on the game. You know, uh, some games you save more, some games, you know, you save less. So it depends what it is. But uh, you're going to save space if you do this. And I also tried it one on, um, what was that, on the PS2 here. And, you know, it does work too, although I haven't really used it for the PS2 because uh, it's mainly for emulators. You can't really use it on open PS2 loader, so I, I really don't use it. But I gave it a try and it actually does work. My main purpose is just using for the PSP here because I'm going to use it on my um, what was that, PS TV and uh, using the Vita launcher and all that and use Adrenaline. So uh, that's what I'm doing here. So really cool program. You know, if you want to do like bulk rename also, you can do um, instead of having one at a time that we just did, we can actually do a bulk um, rename at the same time. So you can do like a star dot ISOs and it'll do all of them, you know, one by one, which um, I really appreciate programs that do that. Like, uh, you know, there's a bunch of other programs I checked out in the past where it converts some stuff, but like no common sense out of the box experience. Now this program is he's smart. They uh they put in like bulk rename out of the box, so I don't have to like waste my time writing a bash script, um you know or anything like that. And the input name is the output name you know with a different extension. Like you see here, look for example, ISOs right. That's our input. The output is just the same names, just that uh, CSOs amazing like common sense here some people that are you know great programs but they have no common sense uh you know this person here they know what their user wants and they put it in there by you know default uh which is what you should do um but a lot of the other programs i checked out in the past and you can watch some of my old uh screencasts on different games stuff like that uh you know tools that i talked about like i would have to like write my own script to do uh batch conversions and it's not like it's a hard feature it's just like a for loop you know and getting your user's input as the output name my you know minus the extension to whatever the output is not hard stuff you know what i'm saying but they don't even do that so it always annoys me when i have to like write my own script just to do stuff that common sense stuff uh that a user would want when they're doing this Anyways, that's Max CSOs. Uh, highly recommend it if you're going to convert it for, you know, your PSP and your PS2 if you're going to probably use it on the P, was that, PCSX2 emulator. Uh, I heard that one supports it too. Anyways, that'll be it for this one. Check it out. Uh, it should work on Linux. I believe it works on Windows and Mac also. I mean, there's always like a, you know, a port of it somewhere. That'll be it for this one.